Everyone's in Berlin because um, we're there to fight the good fight against Grindelwald and, and everything that Grindelwald stands for. Um, and on a personal note, I guess ultimately to save the world, and then on a personal note, um, Grindelwald had killed Lita at the end of the last film. And so uh, Theseus is determined to, to, to get justice. But what I like about Theseus is that he's up until this point, uh, been quite clear on his intentions and how he wants to uh, uh, do good for the wizarding world. Um, and we meet him at a crisis point and he's having to change the ideology in, in his mind um, and, and discover a new route uh, to do the same job. And that flexibility uh, I really love about him. Um, and he's grounded uh, and he's truthful. But between the brothers, they're re-entering a stage in their relationship that they haven't been at for a long time, probably since they were kids. Uh, both of them trying to be more open with the other. Um, I say that Theseus may be a little bit more than Newt. Um, and they're developing an understanding and respect for the way that the other, the other person thinks um, and using that to uh, for the greater good. Me and Eddie, all we do is play the whole time. Like from, the, we, we, we're we in the makeup uh, trailer together. So from the moment we both walk in, it's just play, 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 play. Tease, 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 tease. But with an understanding that there's like a deeper thing there. And uh, we've really managed to build, and built it quite quickly, but we've built this relationship that's really special. Um, and I think that's, you know, part of the acting, but part of who we are. He's very giving and loving and and, uh, and honest and um, yeah, I love working with him as well. I just love working on these films. Building the character with David Yates is is really beautiful. I, I love working with David because he's he's such a hands-on director, but he gives you so much freedom with it too. And um, I love watching him work. Uh, he's juggling so much, and we were talking about it yesterday how a scene on the page can just be. It can look like Newt walks up, asks for something and leaves, and then he manages to turn it into this, this real magical, beautiful, cinematic experience for people. And, and, I, and I, I really do just, like, I'm in full admiration of, of, of David um, because he sees things that are beyond my wildest dreams uh, and gives us so much to play with and uh, work with. Craig has designed some incredible sets. Uh, the German Ministry of Magic that set we shot on last week was extraordinary inside. And then again today, um, really uh, leaning into the architecture and the, um, the way of the time. It's, it's art because he welcomes you into a space that you then start to believe is real. There's families coming together, uh, relationships being repaired, relationships being built. Uh, uh, we've got new characters like Lally. Um, we've got lovers hopefully rekindling their romance. There's a lot of love and a lot of joy. And we're hoping that the light side can defeat the dark side. The beasts and the Nifflers are back in full force and, uh, and, and uh, are raging. Um, you get to see what Newt's up to and the development of Newt. Um, and then also you get to see, uh, you know, Dumbledore and where Dumbledore, how Dumbledore became Dumbledore in, on a deeper uh, level than ever before. And I think that's fascinating. And I think to be able to see that relationship in real time play out. And I watch those guys, you know, uh, um, Jude and Mads, there's, there's a real connection, there's a real spark there. And it's so fascinating the way that they're able to uh, tap into whatever's going on for them. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's really interesting um, and beautiful to watch.